Hi, if you're like me, you know that 1987's The Living Daylight is one of the greatest movies of all time. So today, I thought it would be fun if you pulled up a chair by the campfire and watch it again with the entire cast of Then and Now. I will tell you about the original names and ages of the actors and how they changed in 2023. Okay, let's see together. General George Koskov is played back to Jaron Crabb. He was 43 years old when filming in 1987, and now he's living out his life at the age of 78. ...for General Pushkin to disinform British intelligence. I'm sorry, James. For you, I have great affection. And then it also that by the production, I kreeg the regisseur ruzie with the hoofdrolspeelster, so then I had quite a lot of Cameron Shaw's playback to Art Malik. He was 35 years old when filming in 1987, and now he's living out his life at the age of 70. The Eastern District. I was caught reconnoitering the airbase. Thankfully for me, they didn't know who I was. Now, who are you? It was a worry that, yeah. it, that it won't work, and it's fitted so perfectly. Well, I, th I think the, the joy of it, uh, uh, f from my point of view, watching it, was just watching those... Q is played by actor Desmond Lulin. He was 73 years old when filming in 1987, and sadly on December 19, 1999, he passed away at the age of 85 in Furl, East Sussex, England. Ah, pay attention, 007. Kieran Finder. <whistles> Surprise me. Now you arm it by pressing that button. Uh, a wetsuit and breathing apparatus, but it went down, what, um, 400 feet, went through the water, Seven. James Bond is played back to Timothy Dalton. He was 41 years old when filming in 1987, and now he's living out the life at the age of 77. Bond here. I need two tickets for the opera tonight to be left at the box office. Right. Rewarding. It must be. It must be fun to be part of this. Well, you know, it's 25 years ago when I did it. It's 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 special. General Leonid Pushkin is played back to John Rhys Davies. He was 43 years old when filming in 1987, and now he's living out his life at the age of 79. Operation in Stalin's time. It was deactivated 20 years ago. Two of our agents are dead. My condolences. We had nothing to do with it. Emotional thing. You know, if you hear those stories from literally hundreds, possibly thousands of people, you realize that... Kara Malovi is playback actress Miriam Dabo. She was 27 years old when filming in 1987, and now she's living out the life at the age of 62. Mario, I'll get you another in Vienna. No, we must go back for it. We have about 10 minutes, if we're lucky, before they discover what's happened. I must get my cello. No way. Um, and what? I'm wearing a new, new edition of... Uh, this hat that has just come out today, but actually, Sean Connery wore it in uh, Doctor No. Brad Whittaker is played back to Joe Don Baker. In 1987, he was 51 years old, and now he's living out his life at the age of 87. Competitors, now you seem to forget your many so-called wars of liberation that I have supplied through General Koskov. Those are my business credentials. Tall, why did you decide not to do the second film? Well. Um, unbeknownst to us when we were making, I mean, this is alleged, so I don't know. Rubavich is playback actress Virginia Hay. She was 35 years old when filming in 1987, and now she's living a healthy life at the age of 71. Oh, this damn oh. 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 Put that into Zan, my character. Yes. And she's very... And uh, it doesn't say anything in the script about her comforting anybody, but it's just so natural for me to, to do it. Necro's display by actor Andreas Gwinewski. He was 28 years old when filming in 1987, and now he's living out his life at the age of 63. Well, I'm not convinced. Necro's can do it. I've worked with the Russians. My appearance and methods are well known to them. It could jeopardize my comrades struggling for world revolution who depend on... Technical, or does he kind of just let you get on with things? Well, you know, every, every um, director sort of um, has a... 
Minister of Defense is played by actor Jeffrey Keen. In 1987, when filming, he was 71 years old, and sadly, on November 3, 2005, he passed away at the age of 89 at Anvil Hall, Northwood, Hallingdon, London, England. Moscow, if not dead by now. We're the laughing stock of the intelligence community. Our first major coup in years, snatched from right under our noses by the KGB. M is played back to Robert Brown. In 1987, when filming, he was 66 years old. And sadly, on November 11, 2003, he passed away at the age of 82 in Swanage, Dorset, England. KGB, only hours after he defected. No trace of him, nothing. And there's this Pushkin matter. Mm, well, I must be off. Meeting. Miss Moneypenny is played by actress Carolyn Bliss. She was 26 years old when filming in 1987, and now she's living out the life at the age of 61. Best of the Conservatoire in Bratislava. I didn't know you were such a music lover, James. Any time you want to drop by and listen to my Barry Manilow collection. Felix Slater is played by actor John Terry. He was 37 years old when filming in 1987, and now he's living out the life at the age of 73. Watching Pushkin since he met a couple of days ago with Whitaker. I know he glommed to with the Russians. Well, you've got me, James. Whitaker's put together a few samples of high-tech stuff, but he's placed no big order. What is your favorite character from The Living Daylights, and what do you think when some actors have passed away? Leave your comments below this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel, and press the bell to wait for my next videos. Thank you.